the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is investigating when one of its deputies used a militia flag as his cover photo on Facebook. Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey says the WCPO 9i team story you are about to see prompted her office's investigation. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham reveals it's not the first time the Sheriff's Office has expressed concern about this deputy's actions. This is the flag of the Three Percenters, a group identified in FBI affidavits as a far-right extremist, anti-government, radical militia. Hamilton County Deputy Michael Stemmerding used this flag as the public cover photo on his personal Facebook page for nearly six weeks. That's a red flag. Um, it should really cause every police chief, sheriff, police superintendent, uh, even internal affairs offices to really think about where is this person's allegiance? Where's this person's state of mind? Daryl Johnson was the senior analyst for domestic terrorism at the Department of Homeland Security from 2004 to 2010. He says Three Percenters is one of the most dangerous militias in the country. These are kind of the hardcore of the extremist element. The I team wanted to know more about Three Percenters, their mission, activities, and the concerns and risks associated with law enforcement officers who may support them. We also dug deeper into Deputy Stemmerding's background to see what may have made him feel connected to the group. The Three Percenters name comes from their belief that only 3% of Americans took up arms to fight the British during the American Revolution. The group's national organization, the Three Percenters Original, says they aren't a militia and are pro-government as long as the government doesn't overstep its bounds. Federal prosecutors have charged alleged Three Percenters in connection with the January 6 riot at the U.S. Capitol. The charges include assaulting a police officer. After the I-Team saved screenshots of Deputy Stemmerding's Facebook posts and comments, we shared them with Hamilton County Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey. Yeah, it's very concerning. Very serious. McGuffey, who was sworn into office on January 4, says she was unaware of Stemmerding's post and other comments until we brought them to her attention. She ordered an immediate internal administrative investigation of Stemmerding's actions. I asked the Professional Standards Division to make this a priority so that we get the information as quickly as we can. The I-Team also requested and received Stemmerding's personnel file. Sheriff's records show in March 2015, the Sheriff's Office took away Stemmerding's policing powers for an undisclosed period because he made comments that caused others to believe he may present a danger to himself or others. There are no additional records in Stemmerding's file describing his comments. Sheriff's records also show in a December 2015 post on Instagram, Stemmerding threatened to kill Muslims if they showed up at his front yard. According to a sheriff's report, Stemmerding apologized, got a one-day suspension, and was allowed to use vacation time so he wouldn't have to take a day without pay. To say concerning is an understatement when you read something like that, particularly as it's posted by someone who's in uniform, who's certified as a police officer in the state of Ohio. Retired Hamilton County Municipal Judge Fanon Rucker believes the county faces potential liability if Stemmerding remains a patrol deputy and is accused of mistreating people, especially if they're Muslim. Now, this is the person who's in a public position, a person who has the authority, who has the power, literally, of life and death in his fingertips every day that he comes in contact with, contact with citizens, some of whom he has verbally and openly expressed hostility towards. That's scary. That's outrageous. After the I-Team shared screenshots of Stemmerding's Facebook posts with the Sheriff's Office, the deputy's Facebook page blocked public access, and the three percenter flag was no longer his cover photo. The I-Team spoke with Deputy Stemmerding briefly on the phone. He told us he wasn't allowed to discuss the case. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9, I-Team.